And the Republican-led uh, plan to replace Obamacare will face its first true test this morning. There's a live look at Capitol Hill in Washington. All quiet there right now. That's going to change. Later today, the House expected to vote on the American Health Care Act, also known as Trump Care. Local 4's Nick Monticelli is live with what we can expect, including a last-minute push by the president. Good morning, Jason. You say all quiet in Capitol Hill right now. I've got a feeling it's going to get much, much louder throughout the day as the House starts to vote on this bill on potential repeal and replacement of the Affordable Care Act. But as President Trump is learning, it's not quite the slam dunk that many thought that he thought he would have. This morning, nearly seven years to the day after President Obama signed his signature health care law, his vice president is trying to save it from extinction. Joe Biden today rallying the resistance, pushing Democrats to help defeat President Trump's replacement plan, just as President Trump tries to seal the deal, pitching Republicans last night. The House bill ends the Obamacare nightmare and gives health care decisions back to the states and back to the American people. Closer to home, Governor Rick Snyder is glad to see the Affordable Care Act being reformed, but he is not happy with the current proposal and how it would affect Michiganders, like eliminating Healthy Michigan, which provides health care to low-income families, keeping affordable premiums for people 50 to 64 years old, and Medicaid, specifically the cost of specialty pharmaceutical costs. So there are three major issues that I want to make sure I was highlighting uh, to Congress to make sure they have it on their list of things that need to be addressed as part of hopefully reforming the Affordable Care Act. There have been some last minute tweaks to Medicaid funding, but still, an NBC News analysis shows at least 27 Republicans still likely to vote no. Republicans can only afford 21 to vote against it. It's an uphill battle on the Senate side as well, with at least three Republicans still balking at the bill, and Democrats are looking to capitalize. The House should not walk this plank. They should not ask Senate Republicans to walk this plank. They should drop repeal once and for all. And according to the Congressional Budget Office, they looked over this plan and said that if it is approved and does go into effect, 24 million Americans will lose their health care. We're live this morning, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today. Uh, Nick, you mentioned coverage costs for those over 50. Any idea how high they'll go if this plan is approved? Well, the same office said that if it does happen, they could look at premiums that would go from about $1,200 to $14,000 every year. Good Lord. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Nick, for that live report. New revelation.